everybody and as Stefan would say hello my lovelies welcome to another video where do I even start I start by saying welcome and thank you for joining me yet again I'm so excited actually to be hanging out with you today because I don't know this is just a familiar setting you know I'm not very much in a different place from where you left me off last time that's just because it's been only like two days since where we you know, left it off. And today I am um, here to start another video because this one's gonna be a little bit of everything. We're heading to uh, south of France tomorrow uh, for a little trip with a brand in Saint-Tropez. Then I'm coming up and basically fashion week is hitting off. I am gonna have some stuff to take care of before fashion week, so I'll probably take you with me as well to you know like sort those as well but before that i wanted to show you a few pieces that just have arrived that I'm, i've been kind of kind of kind of kind of getting a few pieces for fashion week and oh my god i have so much planned you guys i don't even know how i'm gonna be able to do all of this sorry about the mess in the background but you know girl just woke up i have so much planned for the fashion month and i have to say that i believe this will be probably my best fashion week ever i'm doing milan and paris just because london for me didn't have that many shows on the schedule to turn down some other things that are happening at the same time like for example Monday I'm heading to a Prada event and there are like a few little things that I have at the same time as London Fashion Week so yeah I'll head straight into Milan and this season I have so much going on I'm actually gonna miss the first day of Milan Fashion Week because I am heading oh my gosh should I tell you It's very exciting. I'm going on a trip with one of the brands that I get pieces from a lot. I love, especially handbags, especially recently. And um, yeah, I'll I'll save some things as a surprise as well. But I'm missing the first day, which I'm very sad because I will, for the first time in like 10 seasons or 13 seasons, I'll miss the Fendi show, but yeah sometimes things just overlap however i'm very excited because for the first time ever i will be attending are you ready prada show for the first time ever can we have a little i have so many first time attending this season which to me personally means like it's like an achievement it's something new something exciting and something you know like like a next level in my career which for me personally is very important and um I, I don't like to stagnate i like to constantly keep like you know growing and keep moving ahead so yeah i'm very happy and i i have to say that it's thanks to you guys and your support which means to me so so much so yeah i got a few pieces mainly shoes because currently i don't know if you watch my shoe collection video i have like 100 pairs of shoes i promise that there was like 100 pairs in paris apartment those 100 shoes they're in a box somewhere now because we were supposed to move in an apartment apartment's getting delayed now it's getting delayed or not delayed i don't even know what's going on yeah it's a whole ordeal with the windows, doors, security systems and things like that taking place. So this is going to be the hardest fashion week because I don't have my clothes. I don't have my shoes. So I decided to get some shoes and um, it's still not going to help. My boyfriend's still saying that we should get some of the boxes to me. I need to figure out what I'm going to do and I need to do it today. But just to delay it a little bit, I wanted to actually show you a few pieces that I got. You guys know how much I love accessories in general, which is why I'm gonna show you the shoes that I got. But before that, I wanted to show you a brand that I recently discovered actually on Instagram, and it's called Idil. I hope it's gonna show properly. And this brand really caught my eye for the beautiful designs. You guys know how much I love the like little earrings, the little like hanging things, you know, like when they when they have like a little chain that hangs. And the best part about this is that it's fine jewelry and they are, have like beautiful sparkling diamonds that are actually love grown, which means that, well, it is the future, isn't it? So I picked like two pieces I believe from what I can remember and I wanted to show them to you because you guys know how much like a nicely curated ear means to me and I was gonna actually try them on because when I get new earring like new piercings new earrings I get so so excited for that that I can't wait to try them on but today I actually waited for you guys 
How about that? Mm -hmm. Okay, the first one I kind of ripped open and I was like, I shouldn't do this without them. So they come in these super, super adorable boxes and I already opened this one. So I will show you the one that I didn't open because I thought it's so cute. So it opens like a book. And inside there is this little, um, you see, paper that says, tear me up and it says, what to do? Everything I guess. Let lightness fill darkness. Talk to strangers and find friends. Dive under the ocean and gasp to find air. That's really beautiful. Tear me up, let's do this. So you have noticed that recently I've been really, really into specific pieces. And they're a little bit like mix and match. I will show you why. There we go. This is the first pair that I got. There's a diamond stud at the top. And then you have this like bar, which has actually four holes that I will show you later on so that you can adjust how sort of like low you want it to hang. So let's try this one first. But then I also got a different type of bottom bar, which I will show you. Oh my God, this is so exciting because you can just decide how you want to style them and what you want to do and how you want to ch change your things up. And I think the brand is so cute. You should check their Instagram out. I will also link it below. For the full transparency, the brand reached out to me and um, they like kindly decided to send me the pieces that I selected. I really couldn't wait to actually check it out. So we have two different types of like bottom piece of the earring. There we go. The one that I just shown you, right? This one. And then this one. I'm gonna try both of them. Just, you know, why not? Let's, let's see if I can actually do this without a mirror. What do you guys think? Do you think I can? How much do you believe in me? This part is easy. It's this part that I don't know how low which kind of hole to go to because they're like four so that you can adjust where you want your earring to be and i've been really into these kind of earrings lately i think i did pretty well i could have done a little bit lower so that it hangs a little bit lower but let's try the other one let me just understand which ear this should go in i believe this side i got something here no perfect okay you know when everything comes together so i especially love having kind of cool ear game when it comes to fashion week because i think it also like you know talks about personality uh wearing like different things finding different new brands like i love to find cool pieces that I haven't seen elsewhere and that for me is like especially when i have you know like okay there there's so many like jewelry brands out there and i love jewelry but i love to have pieces that i don't think everybody has like you know my elephant pendant like different kind of ear piercings and here we go okay this one i could have i could have done a little bit tighter but actually it's quite cute as well when it hangs a little bit lower so you can do what you want i can even put it on here but i wanted to show you what's in here mm -mm -mm very exciting actually i have this chain and i need to understand how i'm gonna play with this now you know what i mean by a chain like you can attach it from one earring to another and i just need to decide actually you can place it on any earring that you already have or you can decide where you want to put it or you can do basically whatever you want with this and i like to have usually my cartilage this piercing connected to this one because i think that's quite cool i mean in my own opinion you know and this is the beauty of playing with this all so the way this works is that it has a little um you see like a loop at the bottom and at the top and you just place it through your earring okay i think i i, I think i actually need a mirror for this i think i've already done a lot without a mirror okay i've done it so what i've done is basically i attached the chain to my cartilage piercing and to the third um hoop that i had in here and you can see like the beauty of it i could have even played with it a bit more i could have even placed it here i mean the like options are incredible and that's the beauty of a brand like idil i think they're basically revolutionizing the fine diamond jewelry because usually diamond jewelry is not like you cannot really play with it it's kind of like it's there that's what it is you know it's usually like a big stud like yeah you know you know what i mean but i think this is quite cool innovative and the fact that you can get like you can get basically a fine diamond stud then you can get like an add-on like this and you can kind of make it your own is the beauty of it so yeah, that's it. Um, I love the aspect of modularity when it comes to ideal jewelry, the sustainability, the whole like transparency when it comes to the diamonds because they are lab grown. And I, I, I think that's quite 
the, the future of it. The craftsmanship is great, innovation with the add-ons. So yeah, you can go and create your own. There are quite a few really cool pieces. I actually got a little catalog here and I was thinking, oh, there's a lot in here. So there's the, the jade that I got on here. And then there's Lucia, which is in my right ear. Then I have the chain. It's focusing on my eye, I'm sorry. Which is Apollo. Matea is like an eye. Evil eye looks really cool. Um, so yeah, I think this is quite brilliant. And I decided to have these and wear them kind of like throughout the fashion month. And then I also decided to get, like I said at the beginning, two pairs of mm -hmm, shoes because... Well, yeah, I actually got three pairs, but the third pair you'll probably see throughout this vlog because they will arrive later on. Got them on my premiere order because Night of Porta, guys, they now have a warehouse in Milan too, so I can get my same day delivery. I mean, what else, you know? Yeah, fabulous. So I got two pairs of kind of same shoes because I couldn't decide the color and I was like, okay, maybe I'll return one. But usually when I see that, it never really happens. They are both from Match and Match, so I used to, or Mac and Mac. I never know, it's a Georgian brand, and my Georgian followers, they always correct me, because I always say it wrong. But, it's the PVC pump with pearls, and is this not spectacular? I mean, I'm so sorry, can we just discuss this shoe? I think, this is a Cinderella shoe. The other pair that I got, why? <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna move into my new apartment, I'm gonna have way more stuff than I initially thought and the whole move from this hotel room to the new apartment is gonna be like a proper move I hope it's not gonna affect my relationship that's all I can say at this point because I mean we all know men are not that like understanding when it comes to these things actually no my boyfriend is and then I got the black PVC because you know girl needs to have her choices oh my god what are the chances that I opened right and the left so i can try both now and you guys can help me which one to choose or say both because both shoes will fit okay are you ready for the first look this is the kind of from where i stand um this is obviously the see-through one is on the left and then the dark pvc is on the right but let me show you from the side because that's just insane hopefully you'll be able to see so here they are and I don't know, I feel like this one is more like Cinderella glass shoe, the one that you feel like, you know, is perhaps easier to style, but this one's a bit darker, more evening-ish. And the thing is that I love them both, so I don't know. The heel is fully embellished as well, like at the top part. Hopefully you can see that. I still have to figure out how I'm gonna film because of, on top of everything, my camera died this morning and I went to buy a new camera so that I can make a video for you guys and the camera that i bought they didn't have the camera i normally use so i had to buy a camera which is a little bit more um how do i explain it like it catches less of the background it's a bit more focused and now <laughs> it comes to like a point when i can't i'm not really sure what i'm even recording and that's the problem and uh, it's my first day using it so i really hope you will excuse me I also got this new top which is basically like a body it has these beautiful sleeves it's a bit like now I've been jumping up and down so it's a bit weird but I will link it below as well as everything else I will link the jewelry below I will link my shoes below the top everything you guys always ask for those things so I think because if I don't get used to the new camera during this vlog I'm probably going to have to figure something else out to try and find the camera that I used before, maybe I'll order it on Amazon because for fashion weeks it will be hard to, yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out somehow. Now I'm gonna go and pack because I have a lot of things to pack. We're heading to Saint-Tropez, the car's picking me up soon, it's a five-hour journey and next time you see me will be from Saint-Tropez. Good morning everybody, uh, first full day in Saint-Tropez. I feel like it's been two or three years since I've been here. For, for sure it's been, well, more than two years since, I don't know, like time just flies when, when unexpected things happen, right? I actually woke up in this beautiful hotel, Le Ponge, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And last night I went to bed thinking, oh, tomorrow morning I have to actually show them 
my room which is really cute sadly we assembled all the lights last night because i arrived yesterday the journey was like five hours long or even more than that because the traffic was horrendous and when i arrived i had to start working straight away because there were so many things um we started shooting their lights all around the room which is quite sad because i want to actually show you everything around here let me show you there's one light there there's some accessories for light there Oh, I'm gonna unbox that today. I don't know why that zoomed in. <laughs> At least the camera has a mind of its own. And then there's that big light there. So yeah, there is a bit of a mess, but I'm gonna try and sort the mess this morning, unpack what I want to unpack and show you a little bit because this room is a room where the famous couturier Guy Laroche stayed at before. So I feel pretty privileged that they put me in this room. I just woke up so uh, the bed is still messy but um, I have laid out some stuff out. I wanted to show you actually what I brought with me. I don't know why I brought so many bottles. I was just thinking about that now. I really don't know considering that I'm here for only two nights. I've got this stunning Valentino. Then my currently favorite, the raw bag, which is just basically like a white leather sack. <laughs> then there is this Bottega bag Jody that I wear constantly, the Prada, the Bulgari. I just thought, you know, maybe I will want to add a bit of glam and sparkle. Here I just put out some stuff. We're here for Zadig and Voltaire fashion show, which I will be showing you, but this is the look that I'm going to be wearing. You will see it later on because of course I will put on in a second. There's that Dior thing that I want to unbox. Oh, shoes, shoes. Let me show you the shoes. So these are the shoes that I traveled in. They're currently my most worn favorite shoes from uh, Nike Off-White collab. Obsessed. Like, they're literally the best. Love them so much. Then these are the shoes that I'm going to wear with the dress. The Zadig Voltaire shoes. Uh, we got some Valentino heels. These are the new Mac and Mac shoes. I will link them below because they're so insane and they're selling out fast. You guys should check them out. Look how beautiful and how sparkly they are everywhere. I oh, love them so much. And then my Pradas. Again, don't know why I brought so many shoes, but girl needs her options. At least one thing is for sure, and that is my kind of color palette is along the same vibes. There's a lot of creamy white colors, right? In the bathroom, there's a bit of a, a Dyson situation. and I washed my hair yesterday, then my beauty bags, my skincare, nothing you haven't seen before. Actually, that might not be true. In the last video, I promised I will show you the product I've been using on my face and the uh, eyes. And this is Neon Nude Melting Color Bound Cheeks and Eyes, and that's exactly what I use it for both my cheeks and eyes. And I am obsessed with this product. I've been also really, really loving and using the Fiber Brow Gel from Tom Ford in color Espresso. Love this, it's on my eyebrows now. And my favorite lip combo, I will link all of these below. But this is the favorite lip combo. We got the lip liner in shade, I think chestnut. Chestnut, yeah, it says here, but you can't really see it. And guys, this is the most beautiful lipstick ever. Okay, here we go. It's in praline cream, I believe. Yeah, praline cream, stunning. We'll make sure to link all of these be below. This is from Laura Mercier and I'm obsessed. Now I'm gonna get dressed, go downstairs for the breakfast because, you know, coffee and all of that important stuff to me. Let's not even pretend that I can live without coffee. Um, so I'm gonna quickly get dressed and take you with me around Saint Tropez. Actually, you know what? It's only like, I don't know what, 16, 17 of September and Saint Tropez is kind of out of season at the moment, which I don't think is usual, but I believe it's like that because of everything that's happened and it has shortened the season a little bit, but uh, it looks beautiful because it's so peaceful and quieter than usually. Oh, this is like literally, we're having, I just left my phone over there. We're having breakfast here. Next door. This sea and I can see some people swimming there. Wait, let me just try and zoom in slowly, gently. Well, that's not very gentle, but anyway, you can see people are swimming. How nice is that for a morning swim? Even though the sun's not out. I think that's so beautiful. And uh, what a beautiful little place. I just love it, and especially when it's like this in the mornings. Beautiful. The cappuccino time, as well as updating uh, for 
a YouTube video to go live, which needs to go live today. The sun is slowly starting to come out, which is really nice because you can actually finally see me. Because this morning it was quite dark when I started vlogging. I, um, yeah, I always feel much better once I have my first copy. We're gonna go scout for a location where we want to do this real video. And it's pretty hard because should be told neither of us really know Centropid that well. I mean, kind of know it for the pictures, but not so well to where to shoot and create content. So even though I have created, like I said, a lot of pictures here, I don't know where it's gonna be really nice to film a reel. So we're gonna go scout for location. We have around two hours to do that. And then hopefully also create some content. I will, should I already be in the look, Vlado, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna already be in my look, so you'll see how it all goes. I just wanted to show you something, and that is my room, which says Gilaroche, because he used to stay here. And at this hotel, there, there's even some Picasso's work, because he used to come and do like little drawings for them, which I'll show you later. Ah, oh, so much tidier now. Much better. And that's my outfit of the day. Later on, I did some work. Um, and now I'm gonna get dressed into uh, another look. I've kind of briefly mentioned we're shooting this reel for Valentino. So I am gonna get dressed now and I will, I think I will show you the, the final look as soon as I'm done. Just got dressed in Valentino. The look is pretty white and gold. We will show you as soon as we get out. Okay, here is the look for the reels. It's a very, very short skirt that is basically non-existent and many, many layers. There's this uh, kind of like a turtleneck, then there's a shirt, then there's a knit, and then there's a jacket. I'll take the jacket off because also it's 25 degrees, but main key piece of the look is this bag, which I think, by the way, is stunning especially in this kind of off whitey color so beautiful breakfast done coffee done emails done did a bit of a reel this is like a 50 percent of a reel we still have to finish it it's a beautiful day in saint tropez and we're just gonna go and have a little stroll around now but first i think i might have to change i'm a little bit warm just strolling through the city now had a change of the look because of course i was so warm everything is so pink and blue around here which is stunning <laughs> I was just telling Vlada because we were trying to find our way around and I said the only thing I know where the police station is because I mean it's not funny but it's now funny and it's just here and I know that because when they robbed us we had to come here for like many hours to file in a report which is not something you want to do when in Saint Tropez but you know fortunately that's life this is now kind of like a main square where everything is so we got a bit of Balenciaga, a bit of Gucci, there's the famous Dior Cafe, Cipriani, all the shops. It's really... I love Saint Tropez actually. And I was so hot earlier. It's, it's like humid, it's not sunny, but it's, there's not really much air. So what can I tell you? You see a lot of the police station yeah. there in the corner. Yeah. That's it. So now just having a little stroll. And um, I love this little street. There's a lot of restaurants you probably guys know because the Bocatel is there. But it's just like Saint Tropez full of these little narrow streets, squares, and it's so stunning. Okay guys, I'm filming a real unboxing of what's inside of this Dior box. Hope you're not getting dizzy, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, I suggest you head there and go and check out the real if you want to see the unboxing. I really wanted to keep this unboxing specifically for Instagram real, but I just read the message and it says, Tamara, here's to kick off September on the right and the chicest foot. And I love this note. Thank you so much, Dior. I received the most incredible pair of high tops from Bio and Jach. You know the TikTok when they say Jach. Um, so yeah, I love them. I cannot wait to wear them to get super comfy this month. I'll try to be comfy. And I cannot wait for Paris Fashion Week with Christian Dior. Um, thanks to their wonderful team for this gift. Very excited to wear them. Do you 
know that this is my favorite dessert in the world. It's my favorite tarte trapeziane. Okay, guys, that was really cool. The show was amazing. I think you know, Zadina Voltaire is such a kind of like a cool girl, effortlessly cool Parisian rock and roll brand. So that was really nice. And now we are heading to uh, the hotel because we actually have a lot of work to do, Vlada and I. So that's the next plan. Good morning, everybody. I realized this morning I'm probably wearing the same cardigan every single day of this vlog because it's the only warm piece of clothing that I brought with me. We woke up at 6 a.m. this morning. We started shooting at 6.30. It's 8 now and we finally are at our well-deserved breakfast. This is granola, which is, by the way, delicious. And I've got also, actually decided to go for latte instead of cappuccino. I don't know, I've been like alternating between the two, but this is so delicious. Today is kind of one of those days. I have, I'm just like finishing a lot of things and I have a five hour car journey. Yeah, five hour car journey ahead of me. And then we're gonna be in Milan. I'm a little bit like, you know, excited to go to Milan. I, I feel like it's really, really, really growing on me. But I have to say that we had really beautiful time in Central Bay. It's like small, it's cute, it's beautiful. The weather was kind of changing, but it was nice. So yeah, that's the thing. The hotel we stayed at is La Ponche. I really do recommend it because I think it's a great location. And also it's quite easy to get around. So yeah, that's my little TED talk of this morning. Good morning, everybody. And hello from Milan again. <laughs> I'm actually back from where we started um central Bay trip was really really sweet like short but i'm so happy to be in milan especially because there's so many exciting things happening and coming up so i arrived to the hotel room full of packages like there was a prada valentino diesel my Teresa, ports i don't even know dior bag waiting for me there's so much waiting and I don't even know when I'm gonna unpack it all, if I'm gonna do another video. If I do another video, I think there's gonna have to be more videos next week than two because actually, um, well, the thing is that I'm gonna have so much content to post with the fashion weeks coming that I need to do more than two videos a week, which I don't wanna promise, especially because it's such a hectic time, but at the same time, I don't know when to do all of that. And today I also wanted to continue this vlog because I want to take you shopping with me in Milan, since I know you guys always like that kind of content. So first things first, I'm wearing what I've been wearing for the past month, kind of simply because i don't even know where anything is but actually the t-shirt have you never seen this before this is a saint laurent t-shirt that i bought at this came out as a saint laurent collection uh, capsule bit at valentine's day i'm wearing the ambush jeans that i've been wearing a lot ever since the whole on parfait my b25 and i've got the hermes Ch cyper chiper sandals on my feet that are the same kind of color palette with the bag. Yes, regarding the t-shirt, obviously you can see there are two women kissing. I know uh, when I showed the Balenciaga hat in one of the previous videos, someone asked me like, why would you want to wear a hat that says gay on it? And like some people were pointing out, asking if I'm trying to state my sexual orientation and stuff like that. And um, I think like, you know, when it comes to human rights and especially like something as ridiculous as a right to love each other, to love who consensually, who you want to love and have that love um, given back, which I, I personally believe that is the most beautiful thing in the world when two people love each other first. That's just like most important thing and like the most beautiful thing ever. And for someone to kind of say that that's wrong in any shape or form, oh, he just like, it makes me angry. Like, like this topic, I can get very passionate on this topic. And um, to fight for your own rights, I think it's sometimes a little bit you stand less ground when you stand you, when you fight for yourself than when someone else fights for you someone who doesn't actually have the personal interest in it in a way so for example i think that it's not okay it's not the lgbtq plus community that needs to fight for their own rights it's also us who need to fight for their own rights like who per perhaps do not belong in that or saying us doesn't mean that i'm like you know saying 
where I belong when it comes to my sexual orientation. I'm just saying that it, it would be actually quite nice if also other people offer their support. And I think that's when the fight for equality is much stronger and much more important, especially because there are countries where maybe you live in a Western world country where this is like, what is she talking about? Blah, 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 21st century. But there are still countries that are so far behind when it comes to rights to love consensually who you want to love. So that answers your question. I do not in any way, shape or form think that it's bad or whatever if I am wearing something like that. I think the message is being sent stronger. So yeah, I bought this t-shirt actually for my boyfriend and I bought myself a hoodie which had two guys kissing and I love it. And um, yeah, I just found it. I haven't actually worn this ever before because it's actually my boyfriend's t-shirt. So I'm wearing it today. We're getting out for a little stroll and a lunch with my friend and then I will probably end that vlog here. Um, just first things first, I want to go and check out a few things that I will still need for Fashion Week and then I have to come back early. Organize this space tidy before my boyfriend comes back from a work trip because we have actually, um, like he's, He's a Virgo, he likes organized spaces, and um, I will please him in that way, you know? It's okay, stuff you do. All right, at Chanel. What do we think about these boots? I'm contemplating them, I'm just not sure about the mix of brown and black, but overall I like them. These are already from last season. Let's see what else is new. I know exactly which boots I want from this collection because I remember spotting them on the runway. But I have to say that these are like two as well. The kind of grayish one with the shirling. Cute. Should I try them on? Small update at Chanel. I found a pair of jeans. You guys know I love this kind of like baggy vibe, but they were very big. So we're gonna tailor them at the back. You can see the tailors took the measures in the back they have the very very faint kind of i don't know if you can even tell logo but i love this kind of baggy jeans i will wear these so much this is so my vibe i have actually same like margella they just have the cut and i think for the winter that's not ideal so i really wanted these and i love them you also see they will shorten the leg length so here they they took the measure here it's like just how it was i think they're gonna be amazing amazing carrot Kind of style okay finished i'm leaving chanel empty-handed because my jeans are getting tailored and i'll pick them up on monday it's saturday today but now i have to run for lunch because my friend is waiting for me quick little break after lunch let's go to bottega i always love the vibe as you guys know i actually really love the paddle boat in yellow this one or perhaps in green, but maybe the short version in green because um, they're quite flashy. What do I think about these babies? Ooh, I love a bit of a green touch, huh? I would really like to replace my Jody bag, actually, but I don't know what color. I want the green one again, but I don't want to buy same things. So I ended up buying something else instead. Since there's only like one Chanel store in whole of the Milan, which is quite rare for like big cities, shopping cities like this, there's always a bit of a queue outside. A little bit of a day in Milan is over. I'm sad that I didn't vlog more since we arrived in town, but the truth is that it's actually busier than I can ever remember Milan. There are so many people everywhere I went, people were like trying on things and I, I hate like to film people, you know, like strangers because perhaps they don't want to be in the videos so you know um, ended up buying as you could have seen the jeans at Chanel which are getting tailored something very small in Bottega like basically a pair of sunglasses and um, something at Gucci haven't shopped in Gucci for I think a while but these I really like so I think you will see them in my fashion week video or one of the videos coming soon and um, yeah, we're starting the fashion month in a second basically and I'm so excited to bring you guys with me. Bye guys! <laughs>